Is there a more entertaining surf spot to watch than Malibu? All right, so if you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I've just been getting skunked lately. Waves have been horrible, right? When waves finally did come, yeah, I was off shooting an episode in New York and missed that whole swell. Finally, a south swell. I was hoping it was going to be big enough to go down to the wedge, but unfortunately, I checked the cams and it just, it wasn't doing it. So I decided to go up to the circus, Malibu. <laughs> got there it was a super low tide like negative low tide the waves were super fun and along with that south swell brings the crowd it is the most entertaining wave to watch there's not much etiquette there people just go they actually look over the shoulder see someone coming and still go i generally have people ask me hey brad do they ever collide yeah do they get hurt mm-hmm do they get angry oh yeah they got angry. Is it possible to chandelier someone on a small wave? Yep. With all the craziness that's going on with the World Surf League, I think they should have a contest here and force the competitors to paddle out with everybody else and really see who's the best surfer in crazy situations. You know, I think it's totally watchable. What do you think? It's okay if this guy drops in on you. Look at this dude, he's all muscle. He's so ripped, he ripped his suit. Now, not everyone drops in on people. There's still some etiquette out there. I love the way this guy looks back, sees the other surfer is in a tough position to make that section. So he goes, and then he looked back a second time, saw the guy there and pulls off. This guy deserves mad props. He deserves some kind of like citizen of the year for Malibu. Here's what it looks like when you finally get away from yourself. Well, that's not good. I hope that's not rain. Yep, it started raining. <laughs> it's June, it's freezing and it's raining. And now I'm getting wet. Ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
every now and then you get one to yourself. Maybe this guy's got a four leaf clover tucked into his wetsuit. So yes, it is a world-class wave. Understand that. It's not a top-to-bottom crazy barreling wave, but this is a wave that gives surfers the ability to ride forever if they can get one on their own. There you have it. Fun and entertaining day there at Malibu. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I'll see you on the same.